there he is, Bill O'Reilly, back in beautiful. I have to call you after the show. I have something for you that I want to give you uh, for Christmas, and you are going to love it. It's very historical. Now, um, All right, it's not ticking, right? No, please, God forbid. I need you. I need you, Bill O'Reilly, in full flower. So, uh, President Biden uh, is giving a big speech about the battle. Uh, to maintain our democracy, obviously referential to what happened on January 6. Uh, what do you make of the strength and weakness of this play and why you believe this is the play? This is what the whole election will be for Biden. Okay, so Biden kicks off his uh, re-election campaign tomorrow night outside Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, um, and he's going to go full Benedict Arnold. So Donald Trump uh, is going to be uh, portrayed as a traitor to his country and a threat to democracy. Maybe Adolf will get a little airtime. He did on CNN. Um, I think it was last night. Adolf got a little airtime vis-a-vis Trump. And they're going to try, they, the Democratic Party, do what they did last time around, four years ago, and that is to make Trump so horrifying to independent voters that no matter how incompetent Biden has been, it won't matter. That is the strategy. And the reason they're employing it is that Biden cannot run on his record. So there are two things that are most important to Americans. The first is that food prices under Biden are up 20 percent, according to the Department of Labor, his own administration. And Americans feel that every single mm -hmm. day. The second thing is the border. There are at least 10 million foreign nationals mm -hmm. now living in the United States unsupervised, and it's all because of President Biden's open border policies. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that, and if anybody denies it, they're not being honest. So what is Biden going to run on when he's got those two huge things haunting him? The only thing he has is to demonize Trump. Okay. Uh, pushback. One, you demonize Trump because that's what works best with him, and he's given it to you. Nobody would ignore what happened on January 6th if they were running against Donald Trump. And Trump would talk about nothing but January 6th if the roles were reversed, and we both know that. Nobody loves to emphasize the negative as much as the former president does. You and I, as you know, disagree about the economy. You're right about grocery prices, and you're right about gas prices to a lesser degree. But groceries and gas will beat you every time. Nobody wants to hear anything else about the economy. I That's do right. believe that's right. There is a case to be made if you had a sophisticated messenger. Um, I do believe this. I think if you had somebody who had the skills to articulate, yeah, let's look at why inflation happened. Let's look at how I'm bringing it down. Let's look at growth. Let's look at me. You could make a case. You'd still have trouble, but you could fight on even footing. I don't think Biden wants to do that. But I do think, Bill, it's a little unfair to say you really shouldn't focus on January 6th. It's all the Republicans would be talking about. I didn't, I didn't say about. that, Cuomo. Number one, even I couldn't make a case, an economic case, for Joe Biden. No matter how much you paid me, I could not make the case because he's been a disaster. I didn't say he shouldn't focus on January 6th. You just made that up. I you said, make it up. Well, this is what he's going to do. What you said. I didn't make it up. The context of how you put it out there was that this is all he has. But everybody would focus on this. Half your party doesn't no, like look, him because of this. I'm going to speak a little slower <laughs> in the new year. Please. Because you're just not getting it here. That's all he has. That's it. Trump's the devil. They would have a devil, devil logo. Maybe they steal it from the New Jersey devils. So anyway... <laughs> Biden's going to hope and pray, and the Democrats are going to do the same thing, that enough independents will swallow the incompetence of the Biden administration because they hate Trump. Now, on no, January no, because 6th, they fear the anniversary. Hold on, it's not as easy as hate. This is the finesse point. No, they hate him. No, but look, Stop. but look, that, that's, but that's, that is uh, too low rent and appreciate, even though voting can be oh. very visceral. Here's the thing. Jeez. It's not just I hate you. It's I'm afraid because of what you did on January 6th and after uh, that you're going to try to do worse if you're president again. Bill, all right, you know look, you hear you this can, all the time. You can be afraid, Cuomo. 
You can be afraid. I'm I don't do man. fear. I'm not afraid. I don't hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.